Hey everyone! Welcome back to Everyday Cat. And today's episode is extra special because I'll be sharing with you one part of our home, our kitchen. So a lot of you have been requesting for a house tour video, but to be honest with you, I'm really private when it comes to these things because I feel like that's very personal. But today, I decided to share with you a sneak peek or a look of our home kitchen. Kitchens in particular tend to be a bit messy with lots of stuff. So I asked help from Miss Issa Reyes of Neat Obsessions to keep everything tidy and organized. So as I tour you to our new kitchen, she'll be sharing with us some professional organizing tips. You ready? Am I ready? Let's go! <laughs> Miss Issa Reyes from Neat Obsessions. She's a professional organizer, an author, and a mom. Hello, Miss Issa. Hello, Kat. Thank you for having me. Thank Hi. you for saying yes to this. Always, always. <laughs> Let's start with this. Okay, okay. so before, um, it used to be parang mga wine storage, tapos, ano pa ba? Baka sa mga kalat, kung ano, kung ano, yeah. ano. And now, and now, this is actually one of my favorites because I noticed that you have a lot of mga placemats. Yeah, you like, I think, setting up the table. Mm, yes. And one thing that you really have to consider when you're building your kitchen or when you are organizing your kitchen is you have to ensure like, paano ba yung efficient flow of things in a daily ba on a daily basis. Yes. Okay. So. This one is perfect because in this area, this is where your all your everyday items are, mm -hmm. and here is where your placemats are located. So, Yay! very nice because we were able to execute very slim gaps in each of the drawers. Actually, this one is a rin tag sa pinaka gusto ko because pag ako lang magayos, hindi ko may isip no kaya pwede nga maginstall ng mga parang little drawers para. So, iba ibang design, iba iba yung pinu pull out mo na drawers. So, that's very exactly. smart. Exactly. And, ang galing din kasi we were able to request your contractor na yes. mag fit talaga <laughs> yung mga place not small. Shout out to Kuya Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, they're very efficient also when it comes to our request in customizing yes. some of your kitchen cabinets. So, and isa sa learnings na sinabi ko that I learned from you was yung sana talaga before pa the planning sa house important na pumasok dun yung ikaw that's your job na hindi lang kasi basta basta cabinet and then talagay mo lang yung gamit don important may proper storage para easier and very accessible sa mga um, homeowners okay yeah. moving okay. on so I mentioned that these are all your everyday essentials mm -hmm. so ibig sabihin kapag mag um, magsasat up ka ng table. Yes. Ito lang yung mga cabinets Di na bubuksan mo. Before Hindi. kasi doon eh. So, ikot-ikot yeah. pa. Spoon and fork. Parang unless gusto mong magpapayat at mag-marathon everyday. <laughs> okay na. <laughs> you, can, you can actually put it elsewhere para hiwa-hiwalay siya. But for for things to be more efficient, mm -hmm. then dapat sama-sama siya together. So, in the first drawer are your cutlery. Yes. yes. So, andyan siya lahat. And then, second is your everyday Plates. Plates. So, if you noticed, like when we were organizing, it's really important for me to ask you questions. Yeah. Like, alin yung mga everyday plates mo dito? Because mm -hmm. it doesn't mean na parang oh, plates. Lahat Tapos ng plates sama-sama. Plates. Sama. Hindi. Yeah. Because there are plates that you use for every day, and there are also plates for that, visitors, yeah. or special occasions, and especially for someone like you who loves to collect the plates. <laughs> They just give me plates. Thank you guys. <laughs> na pakadaming set ng plates so yeah. But so, anyway, ganun nga. Um, so tinanong lang ako ni Miss Isa. I think very important then is to collaborate with Miss Isa because syempre gamit naman to sa house and hindi naman memorize si Miss Isa kung ano talaga yung ginagamit naman for every day. So she asked me those questions and then yun, um sinat up niya kung paano yung lifestyle namin every day. And then here are your glasses. I love this too. Yeah. So yung iba kasi lagi nilang sinasabi, do we really need to buy like organizer? Sometimes mm -hmm. if the space actually works for you the way it is, okay. then no need na for buy and kasi sometimes 
buying organizing bins doesn't uh-huh. mean that you're going to be organized <laughs> if you don't know how to use it. Extra kalat lang din yes. siya. So if kaya nyo i-maximize the storage as to how it mm-hmm. is, then perfect na yun. As long as everything is well put together. Para at least hindi ka din nahihilo. Like, asa na ba yung kapartner nitong Totoo. last na to? Agree. So, yeah. Maraming makakarelate siya. Okay, yeah. moving on. Okay. Before, like I, I I remember, yung area na to is really like hodgepodge of things. Parang halo yeah. halo mismatch. <laughs> Actually, nung start ng lockdown, dun lang ako talaga na kastay dito sa bahay ng ganon katagal. So dun mo mapapansin ng oh mga ganon to palad. Then you have to fix this and that. So my message ko sa Miss Isa kasi before dito yung mga baking tools. Mm-hmm. Tapos sabi ko Miss Isa ang kalat talaga. <laughs> kasi enjoy lang lahat na hindi siya nakakatawa. So anyway, um I sent a photo to Miss Isa and then finally na ayos nga namin yung schedule. Biglang na renovate na tong kitchen and then now it's really nice again. Okay. So and again, the again. collector in you. So if so, these are some of your serving plates. You yes. know, you like. You, you mentioned to me that parang you really want to um, sometimes use those plates on a daily yeah, basis, um, and hindi lang talaga siya mas stock and not really just for guests, especially mm-hmm. now na hindi naman tayo nakaka-accept ng mga guests guests. No? Tayo tayo lang here. Yeah. So, but since you have these very beautiful mga serving ware, so jana lang din siya para easily accessible. So before I'll show you the picture, I'm gonna put it here. Now I'm very happy with how it turned out. This one. Okay. You saw kanina. Those are the silverwares, and these are your gold hardware. Yeah. Okay. okay. Disclaimer lang, guys. Ha, Kat was able to <laughs> downsize na. Kasi hindi siya magkash. Water bottles and ayan na yon. Miss Isa, I have ano naman excuse. Yes. Kasi sa trabaho ko kailangan siya preparati ako may tumbler, so ini iba iba ko para mahapi ako kaya madam. Okay. Which is which <laughs> yeah. is fine. You know what, guys? It doesn't mean na mahina parang ganito kadami hindi na yun pwede. It depends on how you want it. I mean, cat is happy na si tumblers then. Obviously, a collector of tumblers. So it's nice because when I asked her to let go of some, she was able naman to identify a few, but she yeah. was able to keep those na talagang sobrang. Di ko kaya I let go. Yeah. So Which the is, lesson is, it's okay naman to keep, especially may mga um, ano ko, mga favorites mo. But yung pag di mo na kailangan, might as well just give it. Like ako binigay ko kila kila attitude dito sa bahay. Or mas ano ko, bas, para lang sayang kung nakastore lang siya dito tos di mo naman ang kagamit. But as long as you have a space for it, that's the important thing to okay. remember. So as long as you have a space for it, so it's fine to keep. So sa next house, pag marami <laughs> ng space, I can so, keep. <laughs> baka isang buong cabinet yung <laughs> water <Tumblers>. bottle. <laughs> Pero madami kayong mahilig sa tumblers. Diba? Okay. Okay. Moving on, this one. Since nandito na yung coffee machine natin and everything, dito na nalagay na Miss Isa yung mga cups for tea and coffee. And then this one also, like your favorite cups are here for your coffee. Mm-hmm. So if you want to make, you know, yourself a coffee, then anjan lang din sila. Yeah. And di man tayo katangkaran, so anjan. <laughs> so then you then base kung paano niyo ayusin sa height niyo. Yeah. And this one was Isa, serving and bowls. You have, you know, parang madami kang ganyan eh, like very colorful serving bowls. So mm-hmm. what I... Um, what I did lang is I actually spread it out the kitchen given mm-hmm. that you know parang um, we don't want naman na baguhin sobra yung kitchen yeah. mo so we have no choice but to really spread out yeah. some of your serving dishes and with this one what I made sure lang is yung color palette para when you open the when you open the mm-hmm. cabinet parang it's easy on parang. the eyes yes, diba? yeah. parang hindi siya masakit kasi iba iba yung nangyayari so, so usually what we put here yung mga soup like kami hilig kami sinigang um, ano pa ba nilagang baka yan parati yung ulam dito yun sa bahay <laughs> dyan namin nalagay lahat anything with soup nandito naman like yung mga favorites namin na medyo dry so there and my favorite cups yep okay okay next is this more serving dishes. More serving dishes. <laughs> and so, both. <laughs> there. So you noticed kanina, de ba? We're playing with colors. colors. And then this one naman, it's very plain and clear. So yan. Para at least when you open it, de ba? Parang alam mo kung oh, saan ka po. masakit sa ulo. So yan. So one tip would be parang dapat color coordinated yung mga 
things. That's or easier. the sets are together. Okay. So, dapat ganon. Para at least hindi siya nawawala. Mm-hmm. Or hindi ka alam mo yun. Naliligo parang... yung isang plate. <laughs> okay. Agree. Okay. okay. So, this one is... Another favorite of mine. Kasi oh, nga, yeah! Hindi mo ba Kasi nga, nung ECQ, parang nag-start kang mag-bake. Bake, mag-bake yeah. ng mag-bake. And yeah. parang, it's very evident, like in your kitchen, na parang kaka- take over mo lang. Yes. Kasi, yung alam mo, hiwa- ilang years na nakatira, pero ngayon lang nagkatahin. Correct. And parang yeah. hiwa-hiwalay pa. Kung saan maluwag, dun mo sinisipin yes, yung yes. mga gamit mo. I'm guilty. Yeah. I remember when you messaged me, parang midnight tayo parati magka-unit. Yes. You said na parang, Miss Isa, I want to organize my baking tools. Like the flowers, baking yeah. tools. And then when you sent me the photos, like, ba't siya nasa taas ng ref? The ref, yes. <laughs> Originally, it was there. Yeah, on top of the ref. And then, yeah, so I created this station for you. So everything on this side are all your baking essentials. Because then I realized, I thought, para, okay, baking, you just need flour and sugar. And then, oh my god, dami palang types of flour. Mm-hmm. And then, types of sugar, iba iba then. So, actually, I've been posting a lot of parang mga Instagram shops nagma message kasi they wanted to give me parang mga yeah, plates and then ganyan. And then, parang in a way, de ba, natutulungan din natin yung mga small business na to. And this one, this was given to me by um, House of Sage and Vanilla Breeze Home. So I feel like sobra siyang nag-complement sa kitchen because it's clean, but then binrake na yung whites with the bamboo lids. Uh-huh. And then ito na. <laughs> <laughs> ito yung team effort namin ni Kat. So, yeah, so uh, more baking ingredients. ingredients. All dry ingredients. So, si Kat yung nag- Label, label. <laughs> yung participation ko. Ako yung nag-label at nag-diket. At so, nag-diket. Okay siyang investment, right, Miss mm-hmm. Isa? Because you can use um, label makers sa kitchen also if you have kids, sa mga things nila. Okay. okay, so more of your baking tools. Here. So here, so we use this bamboo sorters. From Landers, it's really nice because before, nakalagay lang to lahat dito, and dun ko nakita yung value na. You have to invest on ang um, parang organizers para like this, kasi lalim mga maliliit na ganyan. Mm-hmm. Okay, siya na medyo may, may counting space, hindi yung dikit dikit sila. Super Especially masarap with baking, no kat, parang ang dami dami mong ginagamit na tools. And yes. Because, really halo-halo, parang it's kind of hard, lalo na mm. yung precision. Yes. So, isang mawala mo na measuring spoon, di ba? Parang yeah. mahirap na siyang it's tansyahin. It's stressful, totoo. Going to mess up your, ano, your baking. This and one, baking tools. more also. sorters, and then more baking tools. And then this one, we had this custom made. Yeah. Because I want to make use. This one is really this nice. One Kasi yan yung usual problem is isa, di ba? Mm-hmm. Hindi mo alam kung saan sa store yung medyo malalaking yeah, the cupcake molder, the trays. Mm-hmm. Yan yung di natin naisip sometimes na kailangan nga nila ng area kasi nagko-consume siya ng space. But this one, I request ni Ms. Isa to. Yeah, yeah para nakatayo siya. Kasi when you store it upright, it saves so much space mm-hmm. than storing it na parang pahiga. Pahiga, yes. yes. Agree. So there. Oh my gosh, yep, one for me, the favorite. <laughs> and then we have this too. Okay, so normally very tricky talaga when you have like a corner mm-hmm. shelf. Kasi yeah. mahirap talaga ang kuhanin kung ano yung nandun sa, sa dulo. So thankfully you agreed that we install a mechanism here where mm-hmm. it will be easier for you to get the items that are there at the far end. Mm-hmm. So, ayan. So, so cool. very <laughs> Like your colorful. <laughs> Things and mga molders and mga cookie cutter, tama ba? Yes, ano tama, 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 Miss tama Isa. <laughs> and then this one, yung mga cups for juicer, lahat yung mga malalaking, ano, like this, containers. Yes. So I think that's really a nice idea kasi hindi, parang iniisip natin dead spot na kapag mm-hmm. ganyan, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero now, if you just put the right mechanism, Parang ngayon may space pa, so pwede mo magdagdag. <laughs> and then, ang dali ko na makukuha lahat ng things. Yes. 
are you happy? Like, you have your corner na yes. here. Before talaga, halo-halo. As in, excited na ako mag-bake ulit, Miss Isa. Kasi, magluto-luto. <laughs> excited na ako tikman yan. <laughs> kasi, ang hirap pag kalat-kalat yung gamit. I don't know, pag ako kasi naapektuhan yung mood ko, pag magulo lahat. And parang tatama rin ka. I don't know, I think maraming ganong tao. But now, I feel like mas naging homey na siya. And alam mo na kung saan. Actually, I memorized ko pa <laughs> kung saan yung mga bago nilang storage. Mm-hmm. So we were talking about kanina, like how you're going to be efficient in the kitchen. And we mm-hmm. mentioned that for your everyday, it should be near the dining area yes. para mas madali ka makapag, you know, Sir. set up yeah. ng, pl- ng table. And now this time, all of your cooking essentials are in this area. Mm-hmm. Kasi before may mga pots and pans tayo doon so I moved yeah. the everything on this side para lahat ng pangluto dito na dito. lahat. Okay. So I mentioned that that is one of my favorites the placemat but this is really like my favorite. Yeah. Spot. I can stare at this the entire But yeah, call this with Isa. This is from Landers. From Landers and it lazy Susan. Lazy Susan. Okay. Yes. So from Landers as well. Very efficient like to have Daisy Susan, especially like if you have a lot of ingredients that you can put in there, mm-hmm. para ikut ikut na lang. Yeah. But this one, we use this as a decorative because it really matched your kitchen. Yeah, and then sakto yung color niya. Just yep. to break all the whites, meron kang pang rusty dito na wood, Correct. plus the black detail. I love that. <laughs> and I love all of us. Wait, makita. <laughs> Ano lang to, gift ni Miss Isa, si mga containers and yes, all this. and this is, what does it say? Casa? Casa Bernardo. Four. I don't <laughs> Casa Bernardo. Casa Bernardo, Casa of course. Bernardo. So now, all of your mga cooking pans. Pants. Yeah. Actually, hindi ko naisip na, okay, bakit nga for the longest time, hindi ko siya ginawang sa pants. Usually, dito yung pants. So every time kukunin ko, patong-patong pa siya. Mm-hmm. But this one, it's a lot easier since and ting lutuan, kuha ka lang dyan, all sizes. Correct. So continuation natin for the pans that we use for cooking. So we have this cabinet and this one for that. Let's open it. Yeah. Ooh, and damn the pan space. Yeah, and you can actually pull it out and this is where yung mga lids. Lids. This one, Miss Isa, where can they buy this? Because I think a lot of parang moms who wants to parang decorate their kitchen, usually yan yung ano, diba? Yes, this Small one is, covers. Yes, this one is from Make Room. So it helps Make you room. sort out yung mga, yung mga uneven shapes and ang hirap talaga how you're going to store it in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay, and then this one, pans also, pero I think bigger size. Yeah. Before, kasi wala no, dead spot na siya. Parang like aprons. Ah, mga aprons. <laughs> aprons. Huli mo talaga. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Bahay ko talaga. Oo. Bahay mo siya talaga. I did my mo. And then this one is where you store the exhaust also. Like yes. Yung, but... Now, it's for the serving boards and chopping boards. Yeah. Cheese boards. <laughs> Everything. So, yan din. Para ma-store natin siya upright. Yes. It's so nice. Kasi di ba ang bigat din lalo ng mga ganito, mga kahoy. So yeah. kung patong-patong lang siya. Every time kukunin mo, minsan di mo nagagamit yung nasa bottom mm-hmm. part. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nakakalimutan na. Agree. So perfect area siya for this because pat- pataas. Yep. Okay. For this area, again, this was given to me by Miss Isa. So super nice siya because si na complement lahat ng parang wood dun sa bamboo and then this one. Mm-hmm. So lahat ng parang parating ginagamit like the salt, pepper, everything, in basic needs mo nandyan. And then this, we have the, how, what do you call this? Another bamboo sorter for your um, mga you know, okay. excess items pa for cooking that yeah. you use. Scissors. And then also yung pag wine opener mm-hmm. and yeah, mga for cheese na grater and then this. I'm so proud of you. Like you were able to organize that. <laughs> and then that. Yun siya ni Kat. <laughs> Plus and, that sa bayan. And then these are most of your dry ingredients. Yeah. So for you, seasoning and dito lahat. Yes. And then underneath are your sauces. Yes, your wet ingredients also and sauces. So yeah. Mm-hmm. So diba, as simple as you know, segregating the dry and the wet. Wet. Para, it matters. Para mas organized. And then, of course, your favorite station. Okay, my favorite station. Yeah. I, I don't know. If you know me, you know how much I love chili. 
and the obsession is real guys <laughs> look <laughs> so this one is our chili station because a lot of my friends they give me or me ibang fans also they send me mga chili oils or chili garlic flakes yung mga ganyan yung pangpagan na kumain <laughs> so kinikip ko yan kasi I don't know I love chili so Miss Isa um, decided to put up this station since Ang dami niya. <laughs> so, this one lahat ng maanghang. And then, ano to? Mga honey. Honey. Yeah, so your honey and then your chili. Chili. Then, this one more chili. And then, um, other, the powder for my french fries. <laughs> so, anyway, at least nandyan, sama sama na. Depende on, um, depending on my mood kung anong chili yung gusto ko. Correct. <laughs> okay. So um, now this is your sink area. Actually, I think favorite ko. I told you yes. about this mm -hmm. because um, Miss Isa got me this one. Supposedly, um, hindi naman siya for sink, de ba? Yes, yes, it's for vanity. Dapat yeah, is to store sure. your cosmetics and mga kung ano, kung ano, ano kuchi kuchi pa. But then sakto siya, mm -hmm. de ba? So marble pa, so match sa kitchen. I love this so much. So we have here the dish soap and the hand soap. And then this one, favorite ni Mama. <laughs> ah, sobrang ano, I think I won your mommy's heart, Jan. <laughs> because si Mama super na happy siya kasi, di ba usually pag dito sa sink area, nandyan lang yung mga sponges mo and everything. But this one, it's it looks really neat because it's there. Parang naging part siya ng design. And when you wash your dishes, where will the plates go? When <laughs> ito yung naging discussion kasi usually um, every time we wash our dishes before, we just put um, the plates here. So parang meron lang dyang rack. So, ano, parang ang gulo niya tingnan kasi syempre, kailangan mo pa ipadry yun. And then I asked Miss Isa, sa natin pwede lagay yung na medyo tago yung mga wet plates after using it and then she came up with this <laughs> actually ginaya ko to from Miss Isa's dirty kitchen <laughs> kasi napanood ko yung vlog niya and then it's really nice yung sa kanya so sabi ko okay perfect yan Miss Isa ayan na more more bloopers hindi <laughs> <laughs> na list ni Ate Chu <laughs> what hours <laughs> so i think these are your active ones that yes. that you use Pang taping, oh, pang workout, pang shooting. <laughs> oh, see, meron talaga siyang ano, use for every ano, action. <laughs> but this one is really, really nice. Kasi ngayon, pag nag-wash ng, um, ng plates, dito lang lahat nakalagay. So, walang naka-expose. Mm -hmm. So, thank you, Miss Isa. <laughs> and then you can pull this out if for the excess mga water. excess water. So, yeah. Ako nagba na siya. Galing. So, it, this is a nice idea. For all the moms out there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and of course, because you are na, a collector of plates, then there's more plates. More plates. That's what, that's what I said, na parang we really have to make use of the other areas here mm -hmm. at home. Kasi, I mean, here in your kitchen. Kasi nga, um, hindi naman natin kaya na pagsama-samahin lang Lahat. in space. But, if you notice, I made sure na I put it in an area where um, you know, every once in a while mo lang siya ina -access. Yes. Because um, your active area kasi is the areas yung sa waist down mo. Okay. And as far as your hands can reach. That's your active area. So this one definitely... No, that's no. not your active area. <laughs> I need a stand to get that. <laughs> there. So make sure na parang yung active area ninyo are... Within reach. Yung mga nakastore doon is yung madalas yung ginagamit. Okay. Kasi if... If mga kung ano ano lang yung storm sa active area, then chances are yung mga essentials mo yun yung mga nandun sa hard to reach areas. Ganon before. Ganun yes, before. Ganon yeah. before. Kasi dati nandito yung mga spices nyo, yeah. di ba? Tapos asan nag-expire na yung iba because wala natatabunan. Access. So okay din talaga because it saves time and money. Uh -huh. Okay, and then this one, yan. We're actually ano. You made use of these magazine, magazine racks. Yeah. So, para again, para nakatayu siya and hindi masyadong mag eat up ng space. So, these are your para mga reusable bags and mga gloves. And then paper plates. And there. then your paper plates. Since one of my favorite areas is the sink area, let's not take this for granted. This is the um, under, under the, the sink, sink. storage. Under the sink. Most of the time, nakakalimutan talaga ng mga tao to. And yan yung pinakamagulo. Parang yeah. ayaw nilang ipakita talaga. Mm -hmm. Nakalino ko. Ano yun nandiyan. But 
at least you are able to install something that will um, help you and make it easier for you to get the items that are under. Yeah, so this one for extra um, soaps, yung mga pang sanitize, and all kitchen needs. Okay. Since this one, um, it's um, glass and kita, Miss Isa decided to put the colorful, colorful one right here. Again, Again, to break the white and then para lang din, you know, para something na lively yung color. And it's really flattering kahit naka-close kasi parang may iba-ibang colors lang dyan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ito dinagdag natin to eh, before yes. what Yes! Yes. Before, parang ilang cabinets and two cabinets, Miss mm -hmm. Isa. Mm -hmm. But then, Miss Isa requested kung pwede maliliit na drawers kasi nga she noticed na ang dami namin gamit and mas maganda yung um, ganyan. Parang um, she made use of the space that we have. So kasi this. it's masyado kasing deep minsan. Ang hirap nang mag-store yes. kasi ang tendency is you patong, have to patong. pile it up, yeah. right? Oh, especially you have a lot of these, like mga saucers sauce, and yeah. mga for condiments, mm -hmm. like sausawan kasi nga chili, chili. is light. Diyan natin lalagay yun. So yan. Oh, then more more for, the for the chili. <laughs> And then for there, soup. for soup, maluwag pa siya actually eh. Pero we made it lang na parang per set para hindi rin nakakalito. Yes. But, um, What's this? the other one is, yan, mga Sauces. coasters na ah. sauces. Okay. Yeah. And then what else? This. This one. This, oh, since uh -huh. it's near the sink, nilagay na Miss Isa towels. Kitchen towels. Yep. So, again, it's nice if you're going to do this, uh, if you're going to fold it this way, like the file folding way. Kasi mm -hmm. if, again, nakastack mm -hmm. siya, then magulo siya tingnan. And this one kasi, mas madali siyang makuha. makuha. Yeah. Hanggang pagtupi ng socks ka, message ko si Miss Isa, I FYI. Because may mga proper way pala to do those things. And yun yung sometimes we take for granted because we feel like, okay, basta may cabinet, you just store all your things there. Mm -hmm. But no, it doesn't end there. Ayan pa. Knives. Then yung mga knives mo. So, lots of it also. Okay. And, and then mga ba baonats. So, okay. yeah. So before, this used to be the storage for the cooking pans. Yes. And then si Miss Isa, um, kinausap niya again yung contractor and she requested for additional drawers. Yeah, because you remember, kasi before, parang medyo nandun siya sa loob. Yes. So just imagine when you're getting the pots and pans, parang pumapasok ka sa loob Ganun. ng lamesa. Yes. So, but this one, I... Um, requested for a drawer mm -hmm. so that it's easier for you to access things inside. So, ngayon, sobrang dali. I know, sobrang dali. <laughs> Pinadali yung buhay ko. So, that's where some of your mga plates pa are More stored. More plates. Yes. So, lahat ng designs na to. So, this. And then, here, we have yung all-white naman. Mm -hmm. And then, sa last, we have more serving plates na white. Yep. <laughs> so, naging, ano na siya, um, very useful area because of the drawers. Can you yep. imagine just adding drawers makes a huge difference. Yes. And then this Ayan. one. These are your mga food storage. My so, these baons. are all, um, glass storage. So, another tip when you need to store mga ganitong klase like your mga Tupperware mm -hmm. and mga kung ano anong food storage, it's really best if you're going to separate the lids from the container. Okay. Para mas makasave ka ng space. So you can stack it up together and then all of the covers, um, covers are just here. And then we also, we again use like this kinds of sorter. And these are your mga plastic Baonats. containers naman. So again, when you're categorizing things, so it's, it's it can be as simple as yun nga, parang doing it by me. Mm -hmm. Or just like what you did with the condiments. Yeah. So, but paghiwalayin yung dry sa wet. Yes. So as simple as that, so that it's easier for you to maintain and for you to put back things kasi nakakategorize siya. Yes, I agree. Okay, this one is our pull-out pantry area. Wala to before and then si Miss Isa yung nag-request for this also. And um, I'm really happy how it turned out because nasort ko yung mga food namin by category. So, from chocolates, from instant noodles, and 
Pasta, so nandiyan lahat. FYI, hindi ako yung nag-label. Label. Parang, <laughs> ako, ako. surprise din ako kanina. Nung binuksan ko siya, wow, naka-label yeah. na. Supposed to put labels pa sana. Na-OC ako, Miss Isa. Mm-hmm. But my dream talaga is to have a walk-in pantry. It's Me really too. my dream, no? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yan yung goal natin. <laughs> so next house. Okay, again, magtrabaho oh, muna. Diba? So smooth. Yeah, so smooth and so light. <laughs> Okay, this one more food. Let's open this now. Okay. So, dito na nalagay the um, alcohol, wines, and then this one, chips and snacks. Yes, which is very important. Before, walang nakalagay dito. And si Kat talaga, ah, oh, meron ako sa taas. Taas? <laughs> yeah. Pagbaba dito, oh, wow. Kasi, <laughs> pagpasaya natin yung chips. <laughs> yes. So. This one, um, pang, like this, um, for coffee, tea. Spreads, may hilig dun kami kasi uh-huh. sa bread and everything. Stand. This one old to, when we got this house and dito na, but this was here. So ang hirap kumuha ng pagkain kasi uh-huh. ang taas, hindi man kami matatangkad. <laughs> so pinalit lang na Miss Isa. And then, yeah, better nga kasi ngayon ang dali na kukuha lahat. Correct. So there. Okay. okay. Ta-da! So, ayan. Doon natin nilalagay yung mga gamit na hindi nyo naman masyadong ginagamit. Mm-hmm. Diba? Doon sa mga medyo dead area. Yeah. So, since yung alcohol is here, then it's just to try to restore some the of the glasses, glasses there. Shot glasses. Yeah. yeah. And this then, more cups. mugs and cups. <laughs> and for our last cabinet, we have the... Your garage. Garage. Kasi parang your appliances garage. Because you mentioned talaga na parang you really want to hide. remove and hide some of the counter, yung clutter sa mm-hmm. counter. So, we did that para at least ma-hide natin yung mga bulky na appliances. appliances. Yes. Kasi before, nandyan lang siya on top of the table. And I feel like... Pag nakalabas sila lahat, ang gulo niya tingnan. So, naglagay kami ng ano niya, parking. <laughs> okay, that's it, guys! Usually, ito siguro yung tanong nyo, especially the moms out there. And I think this will be really helpful para sa kanila. So my first question, Ms. Isa, what are the most important things to consider when decorating or organizing your kitchen or home in general? So the, again, I, I mentioned kanina na efficiency is really important. Mm-hmm. So you have to know ano ba yung, paano ka ba kumikilo sa kitchen every day. Okay. So that's the important thing that you need to consider when you're organizing your kitchen mm-hmm. to make sure that you know you have an efficient flow of things when you move around, when you cook, when you set the table. Mm-hmm. Hindi ka masyadong ikot ng ikot. Yeah. Sorry, hindi ka nahihilo. Uh-uh. <laughs> diba? So uh-huh. it's, it's really the layout and how you're going to put things together just so mas minimal yung movement mo in the kitchen. Okay. Okay, next, um, if you're working at all with a limited budget, like syempre hindi naman magsusplurge talaga lahat na papa-renovate or ganyan, um, if you can only invest in one part of your kitchen, what should it be? Like, yung pinaka uh, meaning number one for you? For me, the number Some one area. talaga. Well, this is very personal because some, their number one is to invest in a good cooking, you know, parang cooking stove, ways, yes. mga ganyan. But for me, the important organizing wise mm-hmm. is really the food storage. So it's important talaga that you have a good um, food storage or cabinet mm-hmm. in the kitchen. Kasi yes. at the end of the day, no, parang yan talaga yung pinaka pumapasok sa katawan natin. Mm-hmm. So if you're not gonna store it properly, then chances are we're harming ourselves. <laughs> Maka expert. <laughs> so, diba? So, dapat talaga yung food nyo, yun yung pinaka naka-store ng maayos sa mm-hmm. kitchen. So, yeah. Food storage. Mm-hmm. So, depending on your lifestyle, kung ano yung priorities mo, anong hilig ng family mo, and then, you invest in that. Yeah. Okay, my last question. Siyempre, ito na. Mm-hmm. Sa simula, 
um, lahat ngayon malinis, pag alis mo dito. For me and sa uh, mga viewers natin, I think the hardest part is the maintenance. The maintain. <laughs> like, how, how, how can I maintain this? Naganata ko organize Miss Isa, like, with the plates and all, tapos pag wala ka na, baka masyak ka na lang, anong nangyari? <laughs> so, dito. So, can you share with us what's the um, parang secret I for think, the maintenance? Well, everybody saw naman how we organize the entire kitchen. Mm-hmm. And it's really important that you really categorize. Mm-hmm. Labeling is just an add-on. Okay. But if you understand like how things are arranged in the kitchen, then it's easier for people to you put, know, it, put, back put it back where yeah. it is. Kasi before, talagang malilito ka kasi wala talaga siyang, hindi mo siya nakategorize, mm-hmm. eh, diba? Yeah. Like, parang walang Kung orientation. Kung lang may space, dun, dun mo ilalagay. Yes. Diba? So, but right now, since we were able to put things together and we created zones in the kitchen, yes. you have a baking zone, you have a chili zone, mm-hmm. <laughs> you, have, <laughs> you have a cooking zone. Mm-hmm. I think it's very parang easy na to understand for the for everybody here mm-hmm. na doon nila ibabalik kung saan. And like sila, Atichu and everyone yung kasama namin dito sa house, um, pati sila, um, tinuro namin, even like scene, Okay, na kung saan kinuha, doon ibabalik. Doon mo siya ibabalik. Kasi magugulo lahat, maghahanapan na naman. So it's Correct. very important to educate them as well, even the kids, because tayo yung mag-iikot dito sa kitchen eh, and you want to keep it as organized as possible. So, yes. I think yun din yung ano ko, natutunan ko for this. That's it for today's episode. Um, thank you so much for joining me and Miss Isa. Miss Isa also has her own channel, and you can learn a lot from her video. So please promote Miss Isa. Thank you. <laughs> so, you can visit my YouTube channel at Neat Obsessions, and you can also visit my website www.neatobsessions.com. And your Instagram because you're very active on Instagram. Same thing. It's actually not hard to, <laughs> <laughs> not, to remember. Not hard to remember. It's all at Neat Obsessions. Sessions. So Miss Isa just released her own book um, last September and this is um, this is how it looks like. So Miss Isa, can you tell us something about your book and please promote it. I'm sure maraming gusto bumili niyan. Okay, so it's entitled Neat Obsession. So everything in this book is about organizing and why it makes people happy. Yes, I agree. <laughs> and um, I hope you can purchase a copy of my book. You can mm-hmm. visit my Instagram to know where it's available. Mm-hmm. And thank you so much, Kat, for this opportunity Yay. for me to promote what I'm doing. And and this book, the Miss Isa, it's very personal because with, ano, with love talaga niya ginawa to. So, yeah, I hope you can get a copy. You just visit um, Miss Isa's Instagram page for further details. So that's it for today. Um, thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you, Miss Isa. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>